Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we are going to see how to set up a NFS share on Linux Mint 18.3. As we all know that NFS stands for a network file system. And this tutorial is going to show how to configure an NFS share on Linux Mint 18.3. So we, we use our two systems here. One is Linux Mint 18.3 which acts as a server. And another is Ubuntu 16.04 which acts as a client. And giving a short intro about NFS. NFS allows the directories and file system to be shared across a local network. And also NFS can be set over the internet but it is not secure. In this tutorial, we're gonna set up an NFS file share in a home network with two Linux systems. One is Linux Mint and another is Ubuntu. So let's start with the configuration. So first, open your server PC. And then here we're gonna install a NFS kernel server packages. In order to do that, run the following command. Now the NFS packages on NFS server has been installed. Then we have to create a NFS share. Before that, let's create a NFS directory which we want to share with the client machine. Here I am going to create a share name called NFS share. I am creating it straight under the root directory. After that, we have to assign a permission so that I am allowing a client machine to read and write the creator directory. Now the permissions has been assigned. The next step will be exporting the NFS share. In order to do that, we have to modify the exports file. Here we have to make an entry of the directory NFS share to export as an NFS share. In order to do that, give your file path directory. And then you have to give your client machine IP address. And then we have to assign a permissions to the directory. So these are the permissions I am assigning. Here RW denotes writable permission to the shared folder and then and then sync permission denotes all the changes to the file systems are immediately flushed to the disk and then this no root squash denotes by default any files created by the user root on the client machine is treated as nobody on the server if no root squash is set then no root on the client machine will have the same level of access to the files as root on the server and then the no subtree check will denote if only part of the volume is exported a routine called subtree checking very files that the file that is requested by the client is in appropriate part of the volume and if the entire volume is exported disable it with no subtree check this will speed up our transfers so after this save the file and then we have to export the shared directory using the following command Now you can also verify that the exported share using the below command. So as you can see here the export list for Linux help will be a slash NFS share for the mission 7.233. Now the server side configuration has been done. Now we are gonna switch to the client side and then configure the NFS share. Now we are on the client mission. We need to install the NFS common packages on the client machine to mount a remote file system. In order to do that, run the following command. Now the package has been installed and then we're gonna mount the NFS share on the client. But before mounting the NFS share, run the show mount command on the client machine to see whether the NFS share from the server is visible or not. You can do that by using the following command show mount. If any, followed by the server machine IP. So here you can verify that 
from the following output next we have to create a directory slash share on the client machine to mount the shared directory in order to do that run the following command no directory has been created now we have to edit the upper tab file So go to your FS tab file and add the following lines here. First, your NFS server IP. Followed by the shared directory. And then give your share path. And then we're going to use an NFS file system. And then we have to assign a permission. So these are the permissions I'm going to give. The above line will mount the home directory under slash mnt slash share directory in read and write mode. And x gvfs show option will let you see the share directory in your file manager. After configure that, save and close the file. Now as we already created the share under mnt, we have to run the following command mount iphone a now it is mounted now you can access the server's home directory in your file manager as you can see here so this is the share we have created let's create a directory here as nfs test now we have created a directory under share Let's go to the server and then check this directory. Here you can find the end of a share. So as you can see here, NFS test is available here. And you can even open the directory. So we have a same permission as the client and also as the server. And if you make any changes to the slash etc exports file on the server side, you have to run the following command export fs ra. That's it. This is how you create a NFS share and configure it on Linux Mint 18.3. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And also to watch more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com. Mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for any queries.